So, hello everybody, back again in the shed, standing here by my shaper. Um, lately some, uh, some stuff uh, happens, so uh, that's why uh, less up uploading uh, videos. Um, uh, asked by my um, employer if I want to be a shop teacher. So, I need to, to go back to school. Yeah, I have earned now the certificate of um, a shop teacher. That's happened. Finally found some time to uh, enjoy my hobby. I was taking, thinking of uh, making an angle, uh, angle uh, iron to uh, um, help me uh, make some uh, different setups in the future. So I uh, had this uh, setup first, but it's not um, so uh, stable, so uh, I am um, going to try a, a different setup. Now let's see if this is an option. Oh no, it still won't fit. Can we go? Nope. Um. To make me uh, some extra room, I will uh, remove this um, rear plate of my uh, machine clamp. So now we are able to fit it in here. Something like this. Yeah, that could work. So, uh, let's see. Something to fill the gap here underneath to make it uh, at least sort of kind of flat in the vice. Would be nice. So, I lost uh, two of my uh, parallels, it's been a while. So, find, found my other two uh, parallels. So, uh, because uh, these sides are not um, uh, perfectly uh, parallel to each other, I um, used uh, the copper wire trick. If it wants to get in here. It will not sit on the parallels. Oops, that was the wall. Why? 
What's this for funny business? So I believe I finally found uh, a good setup. <coughs> so um, as you can see, uh, this need to be rotated because uh, this bit is gonna hit my workpiece. So uh, this is only for. Uh, ensuring this is a straight up and I did it with a little square block um, machine is square I placed down two parallels underneath here I don't know if you can see it and uh, I will make a secondary video if the sucker works. So as you can see those uh, parallels flat on the table bed top um, my machine is square and as you can see uh, here's the light so, oh. you see this pretty straight enough so let's turn this um, around like so and um, yeah let's uh, start cutting this I believe, sorry, this could work. So, this is the clearance I have. It might be enough. And if not, I don't know. I, how I am supposed to do this one uh, with this machine clamp so let's hope this will uh, stay put and will uh, cut easily so uh, let's get started and see where we end As you can see, it don't touch anything anymore. And now it does. First uh, touching off pass is done. Uh, now we go in uh, half a millimeter and clean this up.
Almost at the end now. And yeah, it can stop in full metal. If you don't go too deep, it will leave a burr at the end, but that's okay. Not a problem. This is not so uh, nice. Um, I'm gonna try another tool and see what happened. Because, yeah, this nobody wants. So, other tool, faster speed. Look at them go. So last pass, this time with a little bit uh, oil and uh, as you can see here it's starting to look like something that is uh, exact acceptable. So this side is done, it's uh, pretty smooth. It's looking way better than last time. So, um, three more sites to go and I will bring you back when that's finished. The four sides are done. As you can see, I've got a little step over there, but yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. I've got four nice flat surfaces to uh, grab on with the vise, uh, the machine vise clamp. <coughs> um, I'm uh, now four hours into this project, uh, setting up and cutting uh, down those uh, four sides, and um, yeah, it's uh, time to make dinner for the kids. 